I want you to be very quiet. Shh. Peace, beautiful family. This is Danielle. Welcome back to the channel. On this channel, I talk about all things law of assumption, law of attraction. We talk about the seven hermetic principles and any other esoterical things that I can share with you that's going to help you to manifest faster, help you to clear out resistance, and help you to really understand that you are the operant power creating this beautiful reality that you're living. I want to offer a trigger warning because I'm by no means here to um, set any type of limiting beliefs on anyone. I truly believe that in my years of studying the law of assumption, law of attraction, all types of spiritual principles, that I have come to the conclusion that when you tell people your manifestations, instead of shutting your mouth, or if you look at the screen right here, yeah, do that. <laughs> you will find that your stuff will come to you a lot faster. I see it in the comment sections and I've had my clients tell me that they've told people what they're doing in any capacity that could be business or what they're doing with their specific person. And then as soon as they tell this person what they're doing, the reaction of the other person influences how they feel now about them actually moving forward. And I just wanna let you know that Neville Goddard himself had a couple of students that were married and these students were attending his lectures and all these meetings that he was doing and one of them asked him do you think we should be sharing our manifestations with each other and what he told them is that look yes and no depending on your stance on what you feel to be true about your reality in one sense, if you're going to share your manifestations with somebody, then you have to really stand firm in what you believe in. You literally have to be so firm in what you believe that's going to happen for you that nobody can tell you that your manifestation is not going to happen. Now, if that's you, then share maybe with your like-minded friend group, maybe share with your spouse or your boyfriend or your, your trusted family member. That's not the case for most of us. The case for most of us is that we are not sturdy on the things that we're manifesting. That's why you need to shut your mouth. You need to stop talking about what you're doing. You don't let the left hand know what the right hand is doing. And the reason why, and this is just from my studies, just from me being a spiritual student for the last 30 years of my life, okay? I'm about to be 40 years old in the next month. I've been doing this stuff for a long time. And what I have found to be true and what I have studied is that there's a such thing called frequency. Not everybody is on your vibe. Not everybody is here to root you on. People smile in your face and then behind your back, they be scheming and plotting against you. And energetically, they may not even know they're doing it. They just may be energetically sending you frequency and, and emitting these, these signals to you that are penetrating your energetic field. Now, what do I mean by that? First and foremost, you have to know that we are energetic beings. I'm not going to sit up here and tell you that you have to be happy to manifest or you have to have a high vibe to manifest. I am going to tell you to do the research because energetically, you have a field around you. And based on people in your life, your frequency can be altered. If you direct yourself to the, the screen in front of you, there is a hierarchy of frequency. Look at the screen right now. Look at what's on the lowest totem pole. Look at what's in the middle and look at what's on the top. And you tell me where you fall in between this frequency. As you can see, people operate in different states of being. So if you're telling your manifestation goals and dreams to somebody who is operating on a very low frequency, very pessimistic, very um, down in the dumps, low downtrodden person and then you're expecting them to be excited for you that's not the type of person that you tell your manifestations to and i highly recommend you don't tell your manifestations to anyone until they've actually come into fruition because you hold all that energy into your beautiful psyche everything is within yourself everything you ever needed to know about how to manifest and how to bring things into fruition that is within you so by telling other people your manifestations and you mistakenly tell them and then now their response is going to give you this really wonky energy, now your energy is lowered down to where they are, okay? I wanna give you a perfect example. Really quickly, I told a family member back in the day day, way back in the days, 
maybe like seven, eight years ago, 10 years ago almost, of a business plan that I had. And I was very excited, just like, oh my goodness, da, da, da. I had everything written out. I was so excited. And I told this trusted family member what I was doing. And as soon as I told this person this, I'm all excited and I'm expecting them to be excited for me. And I literally got the opposite. It was more like they were doubtful, they were pessimistic, and they were worrisome about the risk that I was taking financially. It poked holes in my sale. Not because I wanted them to agree on everything. It's just their energy was so like low vibrational. My energy was so high. They pulled me down to where they were. And this is the exact reason why if you have to tell somebody, pick like-minded people. I highly suggest that you don't tell nobody nothing. You preserve your energy around your beautiful manifestation, all that beautiful energy, hold it to yourself, get a journal, Use your notes on your, your phone to write down all your dreams, your aspirations. Talk to your higher self if you need somebody to talk to. This is going to help you tremendously because like I was saying, Neville Goddard strictly told his students that keep your thoughts about what you're manifesting to yourself unless you can stand bold in what you believe in. Unless you can know that you're getting your stuff and you have brazen impudence like Neville Goddard talks about where you will not accept no as an answer. It does not matter. I remember somebody mentioning that there are people who are in our society that are very bold and vivacious and their words are very powerful and they will not let anybody detour them. You can think about your greatest athletes and your greatest um, entertainers who are very like bold and vivacious. And then there are some of us that are just finding out our power and we need to be able to feel secure and safe in our desired reality, which is uh, another video that I'm going to be doing very soon. How to feel safe and secure in your reality and feel confident in the things that you're manifesting without needing to have outside validation. That hater energy that a lot of people be giving off, you know, in your life where people, because they can't dream big or they're afraid to dream big, they're now kind of perpetuating their pessimistic ways onto you. This is exactly what I'm saying. This may be a trigger warning to some people because I'm not telling you that you can't manifest things doing whatever you want to do. You could tell people if you want to. You could tell people if, you're not, if you don't want to. I'm telling you from experience. I'm telling you from an energetic state of being, frequency, and people that you resonate with. Just because they're your family members, and they could even be your spouse, your girlfriend, could be your friend, whoever. If they're not on your frequency when you tell them these manifestations that you're doing, you're going to be intercepted. There's a such thing as thought transmission. Neville Goddard talks about thought transmission, how our thoughts vibrate out and attach to a like frequency. This is how you can be thinking about somebody and then within a couple of minutes, they call you. What's that all about? That's because unbeknownst to you in the 40, 50, 70, all these higher, higher parts of ourselves, there is a world that is energetic. And you on this 3D level, the only thing you have to do is shut your mouth and stop being so quick and eager to tell everybody everything that you're doing. If you have to tell somebody, Tell a like-minded person that you know will not ever detour you away from your goals and your dreams. And those people come far and in between, okay? With that being said, if you would like to join a like-minded group of people, consider joining the membership. My membership is called The Sweet Spot. We come together daily in our WhatsApp group chat. Also, I do workshops, masterclasses on all different manifestation topics tips and tools on how to manifest your dream life. We also do challenges every single month where I help people to develop their daily routines by being consistently in your corner. See over here in the sweet spot mindset membership, we are like-minded people. In my group chat, we never ever discuss negative circumstances. We only encourage, inspire, or give inspirational success stories of what we're doing. On the back end, I coach all of the members on what they can do to improve their lives with different things that they're going through. There's no room for us to be pessimistic in this world when the world is already showing us that. So my group membership 
it's heavily based on focusing on the end result, focusing on the tips and tools and things that I share with you in implementing them. Hold something to yourself, go within and be still and know that everything is working out in your favor. With that being said, I love you guys dearly. I will talk to you in the next video. Have a beautiful day wherever you are and happy manifesting. Bye.